Hey guys, we take here, Blueberry Hill. So here we are. We're uh, doing, uh, trying to do the drying for the living room. Uh, we're installing some all thread. Uh, we're gonna mount top place of the uh, container, top and bottom, uh, and then we're gonna install rafters, etc., and uh, try to dry in the, the the living room pretty quickly. A couple of weeks, we hope. So just for fun, I decided to do a little uh, quick view from the uh, top container. It's kind of a uh, dusk, I guess. Sunset, uh, sun was already uh, down. A little cloudy day. Decided to do a little panoramic view here of what's going on from the top. It's uh, it feels pretty high up there, and uh, here's a nice view of our living room. Um, yeah, the containers look funky. Uh, all the black. That's all uh, coral seal stuff to. Uh, stop corrosion and stuff like that, neutralize the rust. Um, anyway, uh, just a quick view. It's been pretty dry here. It hadn't rained for, what, about a month. There's Angie way at the bottom, if you can see her. She's doing uh, some rock work, and uh, I'm just shooting the uh, from the top down to the ground. It feels really high when you're up there. But anyway, it's a cool view. Uh, when the wind's blowing, it feels fantastic. All right, back to the build. So here we are, Pop and I. Uh, they came over to help me out. Uh, so we're doing the top container because of the uh, the way the top metal is. There's a little one eighth inch uh, recess, so we're cutting off a little bit of a one eighth inch kind of a uh, recess on the top plate. And then we have to bevel it uh, because of the uh, ridges in the top of the container. Um, and a few there's Jake. Uh, he came by to help out, so fantastic. So Pop and I and Jake, and uh, we're going to be putting some top plates on and uh, doing a few rafters so stay tuned for that so there you go Pop decided to go on the second floor as well and he's knocking off all the flux from the uh, wells that I put on there uh, that's just uh, good to do when we're gonna drill holes in the top plate sandwich the, uh, the 2x4 on top of the container um, I probably overkill the number of threads I used like typical um, they're 16 inch on center, I guess. Anyway, we're uh, Jake and I are doing that. Papa's uh, hammering off the flux, and here we're measuring where all the uh, holes should be cut. Jake's going to do those, and then we basically hammer the uh, two by four on there and uh, cinch it down with all thread. Uh, we're doing five eighths, um, eleven thread, so it works out pretty good. Uh, we use tractor supply for all the hardware. Fantastic prices, and. Uh, We'll see where that goes, but anyway, fairly easy stuff. Just uh, you got to do this to, to cinch everything together, and the top plate is what's going to hold the rafters in place. And we're going to use uh, uh, what they call hurricane anchors to put the rafters on top of the two by four. You'll see that in a minute. Yeah, Jake's drilling all the holes for the uh, the top plate. No big deal. Did a pretty good job. Everything kind of fit really good. Uh, we hammer them on there, and then we put the uh, big big washers and the uh, 11 uh, 5 8 inch nuts on there. Hammer them down. Um, I didn't buy enough hardware, so we'll come back a few days later to fix them all up. But uh, we did every third one or something like that. And then we did a couple of test runs with the uh, rafters you'll see in a few minutes. Really appreciate all the help from Pop and Jake. Uh, so here, <laughs> they're working hard. Pop would not say no to anything, so he, he just likes to work. Um, he's not scared. He's 85 years old, folks, so welcome to the club here. Um, he just likes to do stuff, so very much appreciated and glad for his help. So here we switch uh, work to the bottom section, so Pop's hammering the flux off the, uh, the welds again. And then later on, he's going to do the coral seal stuff on top of the metal um, just to prevent uh, rust, etc. And Jake and I are starting to work on the, uh, the top plate on the bottom side. So here, uh, Jake and I are putting the uh, top plate on the, uh, the first section on the bottom side. This is all pretty relatively straightforward stuff. Uh, you know, the holes are pretty close. We just hammer them on there. And then, of course, uh, put nuts on, uh, washers and nuts on there. And Pop's going to end up doing most of those. Uh, we just do it a couple just to fasten it down, and then we start uh, working with the rafters. So as I mentioned before, uh, so Jake and I are doing the holes for the, uh, the top plates. You see Pop doing some painting there. That's using the Coral Seal stuff. Um, it's a hell of a product. I really like it. 
Um, it neutralizes all the rust, makes it turn into like a primer base, um, and then you can paint it directly. Uh, we're just doing it to keep the rust away, and uh, Pop's doing a good job on that. So the first rafter goes up. Uh, this is an experiment, of course. We put all the anchors in. You can see the metal things there. They're usually put on with like one or two nails. Jake's on top, I'm on the bottom. We're using a palm nailer. He's got the palm nailer and I got the nail gun on the bottom. He, he's doing most of the nailing up top. I'm just holding it. And uh, what I didn't show was we cut little uh, reliefs on the top and bottom of the rafter to sit on top of the two by four top plate. So once we get the uh, second rafter in place, then we start doing the blocking. And I'm using a uh, 2x12 blocking as well, top, bottom, and there'll be uh, some blocking in the middle as well. I just keep everything nice and, nice and square. So here I'm doing the blocking. I'm using uh, yeah, a rigid gun, three, three and a quarter inch nails, no big deal. Um, everything worked really good. Once we got the first two rafters on, we just kept moving on, and uh, we just did four that day. But uh, it was a rinse and repeat process. The wedges I cut off from the top and the bottom top plates from the rafter, I use them as templates for the other ones, and uh, it was fairly easy to do that. Uh, here I'm doing the cuts. Um, I'm doing the uh, relief here for the 2x4 kick out that's going to be on the bottom side, um, and you'll see me put that up. I forgot to do that on the first two blocks, but um, I fixed that later on. So Pop showed up the next day and uh, myself, Angie, and uh, Pop decided to do, I think we did like 16 rafters that day. All the, I do all the, the blocking on my the bottom side, they're up top doing all the nailing on the, uh, the top end. Uh, so they're using the palm nailer, I'm using the nail gun. And you can see the ridges, uh, the kick out the recesses for the 2x4s that come out for the overhang for the roof. Um, that kind of slowed me down a little bit because I had to cut each one of them as I went. <laughs> Yeah, you saw me toss a block up to, to the top section. That, that was always fun. Yeah, so here you'll see me doing the uh, the, the check to make sure the, the bow and the, the rafter is always to the top side. Um, I didn't mention that before, but uh, that's kind of what you do with the rafters. Um, just to make sure the, the high end is in the middle, pointing up to the sky. And uh, I did that for all the rafters, but didn't show it. So Angie and myself, we were doing the, uh, the rest of the rafters the following day. We didn't show the video, but we put all the other rafters up. We put, uh, I believe, 10 up. And uh, now we're doing the blocking on the very top. I cut all of them um, and just put them in place. Or she, she told me the measurements, I cut them. And now we're hammering them in place and, and shooting them with nails. Um, so everything fairly straightforward. Um, the structure feels really strong, which is fantastic. And then uh, later on, we'll come back and do the outside rafters the following day.
So just to explain the outside rafters, you see me holding a little uh, 2x4 L-shaped section. It's basically a 2x4 with another one hammered to it, nailed to it. Uh, those are support kickouts for the side um, overhangs for the roof. And I'm cutting two rafters. Um, they're actually uh, uh, clamped together, and I'm cutting both at the same time. The one goes on, you know, left and the right side of the roof. And uh, then I'm double checking to make sure that fits in place. I pre-built all those kickouts um, the day earlier. I didn't show that on video because it's just cutting plywood and hammering stuff together. And uh, the overhangs are all two foot to the outside of the fascia, so that's what I'm going with. And uh, so here you see me clamping and redoing. And one of the uh, rafters is a little bowed, so I had to reset and uh, move it along. But anyway, no big deal. It was pretty straightforward. Um, all these rafters get the kick out. And then, of course, the paneling goes on top of that, and then the outside structure, and then the fascia. Um, so it should be uh, pretty straightforward, uh, fairly easy, just a um, little bit of works. So here's the fun stuff. Uh, so it's kind of late in the day. Um, you can see the sun kind of on the left side. Well, it's kind of down. Anyway, uh, Angie's on top, and uh, we're we're putting up the outside rafters. Um, I didn't look forward to this at all because I figured it'd be a lot harder than it ended up being. Um, but it wasn't too bad. Um, there's no support on the outside of where the rafter is, so we were kind of concerned. Um, we just held it, put the block on. You know, hammered everything else uh, with the, the nail gun, and everything was actually set pretty well. Fairly easy. Um, I was thinking it was going to be a lot harder. It was not. Fantastic. Big step, actually. So here I'm cutting a small wedge from the uh, 2x12 rafter. Um, turns out that when I put the top plates on, the uh, the angle iron I put on the walls was not quite lined up. It was three quarters inches off, so no, not a big deal. So I cut a little wedge off the, uh, the thing, and now it sits all right. Both left and right needed the same, of course. Um, here you see me lifting it up there. You can see the L-shaped uh, ridges there. They'll put the kickouts in uh, probably next day or two. Uh, we're supposed to get some weather, so I'm trying to beat that uh, so we can put the... Uh, the top panels on and get get it wet, weatherproof. Anyway, uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, more video coming. We'll hopefully have the roof done in a few days, so stay tuned. Thanks. Ciao.